They're off now. Simonet from the inside first away. Second coming is going to go to the lead now. And moving up is Irish here, followed by Tycoon Lil. And as they settle down, it's going to be second coming in front. About three quarters of a length. Tycoon Lil, Irish Air third, then Simonet. Trico followed by Tie the Knot. And then comes Brave Prince on to second last. And Pursuits is last. Second coming in his usual role-making play. Goes up to the 1600 corner, leading three quarters of a length on Tycoon Lil. Irish Air in the third spot, followed on the inside by Simonet. A. At her quarters, the outside Brave Prince, a length tricope, two tie the knot, three quarters pursuit to half the outer Zonda. Well, Tycoon Lil clicked up by Cooksley, races to the lead from second, coming going down the back. And of the 1200 metres, Tycoon Lil, a length clear on Irish Air, quickly moving into second, Posse, third to second, coming three to Simonet. Ahead to Brave Prince, the outside, a couple then to Tricove, who's parked on the inside of tie the knot, two and a half pursuits and a half length is onto the other. A thousand metres to go so they've traveled half the way in the Rose Hill Guineas, and as they come onto the side, the leader is the New Zealand filly Tycoon Lil. She's about a length and a quarter clear. Irish Air is second, a length and a half to second coming. Three quarters to Brave Prince, one to Simonet. Further back in the field is Ty the Knot. Zonda starting to make some leeway from pursuits, and Tricova's last as the field heads to the 600. And Tycoon Lil, nothing wiring this New Zealand filly. She's increasing her lead on Irish Air. And as they come to the home corner at the 500, Tycoon Lil put three lengths on Irish Irish Air. What a turn of acceleration she has. Then second coming, Simone Brave Prince pursuits tie the knot. They're all off the bit behind this great filly, Tycoon Lil. And at the 200, Tycoon Lil's about three lengths on tie the knot, who's moving into second posse, looking a bit of a danger now. And then Simone and pursuits Tycoon Lil in front, but tie the knot is fast getting the filly. Tie the knot draws to Tycoon Lil. Tie the knot hits the front, and tie the knot got up on the line to beat Tycoon Lil. Third posse, Simone followed home by Pursuits and then came Zonda. A break then on the inside Trico further away in the field Irish Air, Brave Prince and second coming was lost. Okay, two tie the knot, 11 22, 30. The other one's kicked back, Tycoon Lil, $1.20 the place and nine Simone, nine ten. Two tie the knot showing nine ninety and two twenty. Tycoon Lil, she just got a bit tired in the last little bit and the two of them came to the line, locked together, and right... Oh, gee, I tell you what, that free shot has indicated the inside horse might be closer than what we think. Tycoon Lil, gee, I thought Ty the Knot got up from this angle. That has... Oh, gee, that slow motion replay has given me heart uh, palpitations. Strike me, think. The, uh, the closed circuit, take no notice of that. Number two, Ty the Knot, written by Shane Dyer's first, 990 and a 220. Number eight, Tycoon Lil has run second, 120. And number nine, Simone in third spot. And she's paid $7.80. 289 in the Rose Hill Guineas. And number six was officially fourth pursuits. Well, tie the knot. Let's have a look at the time. 201.32. 201.32 record 159.99. So they didn't go all that quickly. But he, stepping up, obviously, from 18 to 2,000, relished that this afternoon. And, uh, well, on that performance today, one would say that Tycoon Lil couldn't beat him home in the derby if it was decided to take it to Randwick in two weeks' time. So Shane wins another big one. Tie the knot, proving too good by Nassau Poor from Whisk to Chestnut Gilding 3, trained by Guy Walter for Sandy Tate and Mrs Jill Neverson. And uh, that would give Guy uh, one of his biggest, if not his biggest, win to date in the Group 1 Rose Hill Guineas. Moving in Perth. Number eight is second, Tycoon Lil. I couldn't offer an excuse for her. My last tycoon from Imposing Bloom, Colin Gillings, Grant Cooksley. And the third going to number nine, Simone, a bay filly by Mononga Healer, Pampas Dancer, John Size, Brian York. To the finish, so we'll go nine from seven and twelve. Jugulator, one of the first out, Stately Bay out deep, began smartly, Mazeldi ends near the inside, and the Tasmanian Cool and Black driving up on the fence behind them, Charlie, Blazing Sun, then Lord Lusk and Expressage, wider out, Pearl Prince drifting back into the field with Tippy, at the head of the rest then comes Diamond Tip with Bella Reeve, and about eight last of all is Rob's Reason. 
Cool and Black leads Mazel de as they head down towards the 600 metre mark. Stately Bay third. A half to Charlie, one and a half Lord Lusk and Jugulator on the outside of Itton in the centre expressage. Then Blazing Sun, Tippy Bellary, well back with Diamond Tip Pearl, Prince Forget Rob's Reason. On the turn, 400 out and Cool and Black by three parts. Mazel de Enns coming deep around them as Jugulator. They peel deep. Lord Luskin getting a run nearer the inside. And further back then, expressage. Jugulator out deep at the 200 metre mark and Mazel de Enns have gone to Cool and Black. Lord Lord Luskin just behind them under the whip and then Expressage on the outside. Jugulator takes the lead with 100 metres left to go. Mazel de Enns trying to go with it and Lord Luskin getting home late but Jugulator too classy. Wins by three parts of a length. Second Mazel de Enns, Lord Luskin third. Then Expressage, Diamond Tip made ground. Cool and Black, Stately Bay. Blazing Sun, Charlie. Next in then Pearl Prince, Tippy Wellback, Rob's Reason and Bella Eve. Winner there, number one, Jugulator, 420 and 180. Number seven, Mamselle Dienz, $1.80 and two, Lord Luskin, $2. Super Tab one, Jugulator to return for the win. $4, the place, 170. Seven, Mamselle Dienz, 190. Two, Lord Luskin, 150. Daily double on the combination, 15 and one. Should return $137. 29 to five, the National Racing Service, Triple SFM, short breaker. They're off in the Derby Munro, and one of the early leaders is fraud, but experts keen to go faster and will hit the front now. My Halo broke and major victory moving up smartly. Enforced and snapshots and all, all that far away either, followed by graphics and then natural mover. A length and a half to Greenback. Second last is umpire and one length to all the rave. Around the first corner they go, and major victory takes up the role of pacemaker, a length on snapshots. Expert third and fourth is enforced, and my halo broke is very wide out, followed by fraud. A break then to Natural Mover Graphics, a length and a half to Greenbacks, followed closely then on the outside by All the Rave, and umpire is well and truly wedged away on the rails last in a compact field. 600 out. Just under that, and Major Victory shows the way about a length on Snapshots, and then Expert, followed by My Halo Broke Enforced, and then Fraud, followed by Graphics, Natural Mover. Umpire can't get out, All the Rave to the outside, and Greenbacks last. At the 300 in the straight on the Derby Munro, Major Victory's right ahead of Peep and went for home on Major Victory. Two lengths the break. Umpire is finally hooked to the outside. He's six lengths from Major Victory. Major Victory in front. Umpire is starting to come home doggedly. Will the post be too close? I think it will. Major Victory hanging on. Umpire flying too late. Major Victory beat Umpire or something. Licked third was graphics. Then all the rave snapshots. My halo broke. Followed by enforced fraud. Greenback's expert and natural mover was last. Super tab there, two major victory, 832, 90, five umpire, 150, three graphics, 170. Take nothing from the victory, major victory, number two, oh, another very good ride by Il Beasley. He summed that up beautifully in the early stages. He kicked away on the home corner. I suppose he wouldn't have had a clue where, my, where uh, his main rival was, umpire at that stage, being back last on the inside. Quinn was finally able to extricate umpire from the inside after straightening up, and he was fast getting the major victory, but the post too close. 750 and 260 major victory, five umpire. He's a pretty good horse, this fella. Umpire, 160. You keep on his back, he'll win you more than you'll lose on him. A number three, third graphics has paid 160. Two, five, three. Major victory, trained by Brian Guy for uh, his wife Kerry and the Amalgamated Milk Services Proprietary Limited Syndicate by Arch Region from Durga Princess, bred by um, the, uh, the owners, or particularly uh, the Forsyth family through Amalgamated Milk. Major victories had 12 starts, five wins. He's a pretty good horse, Len Beasley. Umpire second, Dr. Grace, Asher Jess, Bayer Brown Gilding three, John Hawkes, Rod Quinn ran out of ground, and Sir Lawrence is the Sire of Graphics, is a Bay Philly three out of Paintress. John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy, number one ran fourth, all the rave. 116.06 was the time, 116.06, 34.92 was the sectional. Quinella, 13.90, exact a 28.50. And the trifecta 7870, the double, the daily double, two into two, paid $89.50. $89.50. Okay, half a neck, a half a length, the margins. Half neck, half a length. At the barrier, Perth, race seven, Adelaide. They're off. 
Could even start too, although exciting ran through his head in the air and lost a couple of lengths. And Zadink is dropping back towards a rearward position as they race down the straight and count Venetian. And the far lap colours is prominent there in company with Sky Talker. And over on the outside, Ocean Bird being followed by Kiwi Golfer. Back along the inside to New Kingston, followed by Exciting Ranch. Zadinka along the inside as midfield as they go past the judge, being followed by Noble Ben Barra, Wesley Boy. Alien Fella, Tennessee Oak is second last, and Alfred's Jewel is tailed out to last. Going out of the straighter, and Count Venetian left in the lead with 2,000 metres to go by length to Sky Talk, a length and a half Ocean Bird. Kiwi Golfer on the inside is fourth, followed by New Kingston, two lengths away, Exciting Ranch, and then Zadinka on the rails. Wesley Boy's a bit further back, Alien Fella, Noble Ben Barra racing deep, followed by Tennessee Oak, and last of all, here's Alfred's Jewel as they sweep along the side towards the 1,800 metre mark, and the leader here, Count Venetian, allowed to stride by length and advance of Sky Talk, a half length to Ocean Bird, a length and a half then New Kingston on the outside of Kiwi Golfer, two lengths away, Exciting Ranch, followed by Zadinka. They're followed closely by Wesley Boy from Alien Fella, Tennessee Oak, and Noble Ben Barr, and still last of all is Alfred's Jewel. 12 lengths covers the field as they run down past the 1400, and uh, racing towards the top of the hill here in the leader is Count Venetian. About a length and a half, Sky Talk on the outside of Ocean Bird, getting a nice runner. New Kingston is fourth, just in behind them, Kiwi Golfer, a length and a half, Exciting Ranch and Zadinka. Then Wesley Boy, followed by Alien Fella, second last or third last, there was Tennessee Oak, followed by Noble Ben Barr, and last of all, Alfred's Jewel, racing over the hill onto the railway side, still no changer. Count Venetian, the best part of a length. Sky Talk second, a length away. Ocean Birds had a lovely run in Transetta. They're followed by New Kingston in behind them. Kiwi Golfer followed by Exciting Ranch and Alien Fella taking off around the outside. Wesley Boy followed by Zadinka taking closer order. Then Tennessee Oak followed by Noble Ben Barr and Alfred's Jewel as they race to the 800 metre mark with that distance left to go. And the leader down on the inside still count Venetian a half length to Sky Talk. A length and a half Ocean Bird looming up on the outside into the picture now. New Kingston followed by Wesley Boy. Exciting Ranch running on. Kiwi Golfer is still there followed by Zadenka and further back Alien Fella then Tennessee Oak back behind the Noble Ben Barr and last is Alfred's Jewel up towards the home turn 500 metres left to go and Sky Talk had moved alongside Count Venetian in behind them New Kingston there followed by Kiwi Golfer and over the inside there is Ocean Bird and Wesley Boy and right around the outside running on now from a fair way back is Zadenka as they straighten up Sky Talk the leader in company with Count Venetian who's fighting back strongly on the inside and coming at them New Kingston with a good run Zadenka giving the leaders a big start Count Venetian kicks strongly on the inside he's still in front of New Kingston, who's trying to get to him, and Ocean Bird along the inside, coming home strongly, but Count Venetian still clear with 100 metres left to go from Ocean Bird flying home, oh, very tight here, Ocean Bird on the inside, and Count Venetian in a tight finish, just ahead there of Zadinka, or New Kingston, for the minor placing, they're followed by Sky Talk, and back in behind them is Kiwi Golfer, and further back, Exciting Ranch, followed by Alien Fella from Wesley Boy and Alfred's Jules run last. Last of the day with Ocean Bird getting up along the inside. And the one on the outside, Count Venetian here. Judge calling for a photo. He's finished very fast along the inside, Ocean Bird. When Count Venetian had New Kingston beaten off, he couldn't go on. And look at this finish by Ocean Bird along the inside. Finishing very quickly. And there's not much in this. He's made a great dive on the post, Ocean Bird. Oh boy, might be enough to give him the prize. But there's very little in it. As you see there, stride past the post, he was certainly a half head in front. Ocean Bird, New Kingston's run third. And the close finish here and a very close one. What price another dead heat? We've had two already this week, which is remarkable, to say the least. And look at this. It's a dead heat. Another dead heat. Another dead heat. One and ten. Number one, Count Venetian Craig Williams. So Craig has ridden actually two winners, one and a half winners make that. One earlier in the day and Count Venetian and Ocean Bird, the camera couldn't split them. Camera couldn't split them, one Count Venetian ridden by Craig Williams running up to his good form in the Camperdown Cup. And Ocean Bird in a dead heat for first in the last race of the day, the Harry Telford Handicap. And number eight, third, New Kingston ridden by Rod Griffiths. So another dead heat, remarkable run of dead heats over the last week in Victoria. And Count Venetian number one, Craig Williams, and, thir and the other one there is Ocean Bird, Greg Hall. And they have dead heat for first ahead of number eight, New Kingston, in the final event of the afternoon here at Caulfield. Number five, officially fourth, was Zadinka. Just missed out on the placing. And number six ran fifth, and that was Sky Talk. Big racing to follow in Melbourne tomorrow. We've got racing at Sandown, first of eight, 12.26. Big fields and a wonderful two days of racing down in the Western District of Victoria with the Hamilton Racing Club staging their big cup meeting. First of eight races 
on Tuesday at 12.45 and, of course, Pakenham on Thursday next. A big meeting at Pakenham as we wrap it up from Caulfield. Hope you found a few winners. John Russell signing off, wishing you a very good afternoon. Sounds like you've got a busy week ahead, John. Thanks uh, for your coverage there at Caulfield this afternoon. We'll uh, wait uh, until a bit later in the week before we ask you for your golden slipper tip. We'll at least give you the, uh, the courtesy of waiting for the, uh, the barrier. And they're racing in the final event of the afternoon and immediately dropping off towards the tail of the field was Ravada. And one of the early leaders is the Rand. Bazile Bay's right up there and so too is York. And down in Monterey is showing plenty of early speed and so too is Mr Honey, followed by Just Like Crystal. A swarm for the front spot, then Yaquina Bay. Now down in Monterey, drifting back a little, followed by Corporate James, a length and a half to South Bend, then Jack and Archie and Ravada. And two lengths, Galactic Valley, a thousand left to go and Bazile Zeal by in front. Now Bochamp has gone up quickly into second. Posse and York making a line of three. Then comes the Rand on the inside of Just Like Crystal. Mr Honey and a length of Queen of Bay Corporate James down in Monterey. One to South Bend, a length and a half into Ravada, followed by Jack and Archie in Galactic Valley. They race onto the side. 700 to go and Bazeal Bay shows out. And at the 600 now, Bazeal Bay three quarters of a length on Bochamp. One to York. The Rand on the inside. Then a break to Just Like Crystal. Mr Honey to Corporate James. Your Queen of Bay, South Bend, down in Monterey. Jack and Archie, a long margin to Ravada under the stick and Galactic Valley's last. They straighten Bazile Bay, 300 to run. Taken on by York on the inside is the Rand Corporate. James trying to weave clear. He's into the open now. He's making a good fist of it. And Yaquina Bay is coming home doggedly. Corporate James hits the front, 100 to go. He got away here, Corporate James. He's home. Yaquina Bay, York for minors, but Corporate James wins well. Yaquina Bay second, York third, then South Bend, the Rand Galactic Valley, Bazeal Bay knocked up from Mr. Honey, just like Crystal and then came Ravada, Jack and Archie followed by down in Monterey at Absolute and the field was Bochamp. Number three, Corporate James to return at 1030, 250, 10, Queen of Bay 289, York 310. Corporate James written by Mick Dittman, number three, Bullock through a narrow gap, Mick, on Corporate James. 11, 20 and 310 to complete a route for favourite backers here, not one has got home today. Number 10, Yaquina Bay will say a uh, tote at 280 in New South Wales. And uh, number 9, York at $2.90. Corporate James, a Western Australian horse now being trained by Max Lees at Newcastle for Mr. N.F. Warburton, a bay gilding six by corporate raider from Saracen Girl. And proving a little too good in the time of 127.82. Liverstone and Lane's race and course record 127.29. So they haven't been too far outside, have they? Corporate James winning. Number 10 is second. That is your Queen of Bay. Number 9 is third, York. Uh, South Bend would be fourth, the Rand fifth, and Galactic Valley sixth, I'd reckon. But we'll await those numbers from the judge. The uh, runner up there is by Oregon from Buzz Neville McBurney, Corey Brown. And York is by Christmas Tree from Daring Duchess. And is trained by John Hawkes, written by Grant Cooksley. Now here come the fourth, fifth and well, fourth and fifth. Number seven ran fourth, South Bend. Number six, the Rand ran fifth. And we're just waiting on the official sixth placing. Protest upheld, Ascot, new numbers two, five and seven. Second against first upheld, others dismissed. New numbers two, five, seven with correct weight. Okay, so the sixth place is in abeyance here. Here it comes, thanks, Geoffrey. Number four it is. Number four, Galactic Valley, three, ten, nine, seven, six, four. On the final event of the day, Ravada was under the stick on the home corner. Bazile Bay, well, he led up and, uh, well, you heard where he finished. So, uh, gee, would you be bothered running him in the Doncaster after that? OK, more from Ian shortly. Let's uh, go back to David to, for a quick summary at Exhibition Park. OK, Paul, we'll just whip through these uh, fairly quickly. It's been a...